It's a classic recipe that people cannot get enough of. We're talking about creme brulee in the CI kitchen today. We've got two great U of I student chefs here with a recipe that they have gathered inspiration for. We've got we've got Ella Dunn and Christina Kenyon. Good to have both of you here. Thanks for having us. So this is creme brulee, yeah. but but I've heard a lot of people have heard of creme brulee, right. but it's not quite like this, right? Right. So um, it's actually a very simple recipe. Um, it's only four ingredients and nice. it's really easy. Um, you just have to take time for it. So you just want to make sure it's really smooth and then give it the night to cool down so it's perfect for the next yeah. day. Yeah, and Christina, you guys are hospitality, right? Yes, so so is that part of why you chose, why you guys said, hey, creme brulee, that might be a cool thing to make on You know, it's pretty fun, pretty fancy, so, you know, we like to show <laughs> off a little bit. Yeah, no, can, so. that's good, that's yeah, good. People are afraid of it, but it's not something you should be afraid of. Fair enough, fair enough, and and it's really good. You need to show off, cause you're, <laughs> because this is part of your spice box, right. You know, right? Right. So let people know what the spice box is all about at the U of I. So the spice box, it's kind of like our senior capstone project. Uh, we all create a restaurant for a night. We are in charge of coming up with the whole menu, decorating the room, and getting a chef and enough reservations to fill the night. So, Christina, you're right. It needs to be fancy, yeah. right? <laughs> we're, we're upscaling this right now. There you can see the, uh, the Spice Box uh, webpage, which we'll connect you to later. But let's talk about this creme brulee and what goes into it. All right, so you start off with uh, two cups of cream. Um, we prefer to use heavy whipping cream, but you can use I half and half, ask. or Ooh. you can use milk, but it'll be creamier and better with heavy whipping cream. Okay, I was going to say half and half. Yeah, so it's it's okay, they but, each their own, but it's, <laughs> it's way better with the heavy whipping cream. Okay. Um, so yeah, you just pour that into a pot and you heat it until a boil, which normally that's scary. Um, you wouldn't want to heat milk or any cream to a boil, but right. that's as far as you go with it and then you take it off the heat and you add your vanilla. Um, so in this recipe we're using vanilla extract okay. but um, it's even better in traditional ones use uh, a whole vanilla bean pod but those oh. right now are very expensive <laughs> so a good substitute is a vanilla bean paste which oh. has the actual seeds from a pod in it but it's spread out in like is in a syrup almost so oh, wow. yeah that's what um, I prefer to use just because you get the look of the vanilla bean. Oh, sure. So uh, is it, <laughs> you guys are the hospitality people, <laughs> so I'm asking you, how acceptable is it to do quick substitutions like that? I think if it's more affordable for you, it's definitely all right. I would recommend it's it. It's not going to affect the taste. No, so that's no, definitely you gotta not. Keep it right. Yeah. Right, because right. this doesn't have the pods in it, um, but it tastes the same as if it would have. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, I'm putting in sugar, which I feel like is an important part. Yep, yep. Okay, and, and then... Th and then, so you'll heat this up and you'll add it um, in a, your bowl. You'll mix the eggs um, and then you'll let this cool for a little bit and then you'll mix the two together. It's called tempering. So you don't want to cook the eggs. Um, so you'll slowly add in the hot cream okay, so while you're whisking. These, what am I supposed to be doing to these eggs? You just whisk them up. And Where's Heather when you need <laughs> it? She knows about these yeah. things. Okay. So you just whisk them up. And uh, once they get a little bit lighter in color, you'll add the hot, well, cooled down cream, and that's it. Oh, so the, so the cream, the warm so cream once goes it's in. boiled, you take it off the heat and let it sit for about 15 minutes, and then slowly add it to your eggs. Okay, and then keep stirring while you're right. doing it, right? Yeah, because you want everything important. to integrate. Yes, and that'll make sure you don't get any scrambled eggs in your creme brulee. <laughs> but There's a fine line between yeah. those, yeah. Yeah. Sweet, <laughs> sweet scrambled eggs. Yeah. But if it does happen, just strain it over um, a fine mesh strainer and it'll get all the chunks of scrambled really? egg out. Yeah. The secrets you <laughs> learn. See, this is why you watch CI Living, right? Ladies, thank you. Stick around for the big reveal coming up. Yep. Creme brulee like you've never had it. You can experience it too firsthand at the Spice Box. Well, details on what Ella has planned over on CILiving.tv and more coming up later in the show.